Hi everybody, this is Mike Adams, the Health Ranger, reporting for naturalnews.com from Ecuador, and today we have an irrigation project to work on here. And this is a pump. It's a deep well pump. It's one you've probably never seen before. It's called a Brumby pump. The website is brumbypumps.com. It's out of Australia. And we have acquired this Brumby pump, and we're gonna see if we can install it today in a, a well that's 20 meters deep. We're going to install it and see if it can work. Uh, we've never tried this before. I'm not familiar with this technology, but it's very, very simple. It has no moving parts other than just a simple float inside. So it's designed for uh, long life and simplicity. Notice there's no electrical motor down in the pump, so you don't have to put electricity down into your well. All you have to do is put air into uh, this hose right here, into this nozzle, compressed air from an air compressor and out the top comes water. Well that's the theory anyway. Let's see if it really works. Okay we're here at the pump house. There is a well in this pump house that's 20 meters deep. That's what we're going to be tapping into mm -hmm. here. Well we have an air compressor in here and this air compressor of course uh, pushes air through this tube right here. And this is what's going to connect to the pump like this. And then we're going to drop this, this whole assembly down into the well and have the air tube coming out the top. So you see how that works? Compressed air goes in, water comes out. Well, water and air come out. That's my own handiwork right there. We'll try, to, we'll try not to get electrocuted while we're doing this. Uh, so all we got to do is turn on the, uh, the air compressor and we start creating some high pressure. Okay, we've got our Brumby pump all assembled here. The hoses are connected. We've got our emergency retrieve line here. Anyway, now we're going to go ahead and start lowering it down into the well. Here we go. Well, the well is definitely deep. They can just hit water. Now, I'm going to power this thing on and we'll see if water ends up coming out of this tube. So, here we go. Boy, this is, this is really precarious. Water and electricity don't mix, by the way. You don't want to, you don't want to get this tube on that wire. This could be a, a really bad YouTube video if that happens. Brumby pump definitely works. This is a thumbs up. It brings a lot of water up, and in fact, I found that you don't even have to turn the air on 100%, just a little bit of air, a steady stream of a small amount of air from this compressor, which isn't even very big. This is only a, a two horsepower compressor, 
running on a 110 volt line. So it's not even a big compressor and it still pushes a lot of water up this tube as you saw. The only disadvantage is it's not a steady stream of water so you can't really use it to drive a sprinkler or some, some kind of system like that. But you can certainly bring water to the surface, you can use canals, and you can use it to entertain your dogs. See. Let's see what Buddy does when uh, we turn this puppy on. Several days later we've actually built an irrigation system using the Brumby pump combined with a second pump that's on the surface. It's a lot less expensive. It's a, just a one horsepower surface pump to provide some pressure. I'm going to show you this solution. It's really simple, really inexpensive. So inside this pump house we have the Brumby pump in there and an air compressor driving that and we showed you the water that it produced. Now that water comes out through this through this hose and it goes into this holding tank here and this is a 2500 liter holding tank of water and check out how uh whoa <laughs> it's big it's also really pristine water and so i'm going to turn on the brumby pump and i'll show you how clean this water is and how it pumps the water into here and then i'll show you how the second pump works but first the brumby pump see water coming through these pipes. It's coming out of the well and over into here. Come on, you want to get this great. Well, it starts out kind of slow, but then it keeps going. There we go. So the, the air compressor then refills this. This is water straight out of the well. And this is the solution for irrigation right here in Vilcabamba, Ecuador. We'll put the lid on this. Okay, now I'm gonna show you the second pump powering the sprinklers. Here we go, when I flip the switch, pumps are gonna go, the second pump. Here we go. We've got water to grow food year round. Now. If you're not excited about this, <laughs> uh, you need to learn more about uh, the food supply in America because a lot of people don't have water, they don't have food, and they certainly can't grow food year-round. Well, here in Ecuador, in Vilcabamba in particular, you can have your own food supply just like we have here. You can feed families of people out of that garden, and this is the water, this is the setup that does it. You've got sunlight, you've got fresh, clean water, you've got cheap, affordable electricity, you've got a year-round climate to grow all the food you need, and this is how simple it is to make it work. You just need a, a tank in the ground, a well, uh, an air, air compressor, a Brumby pump, and then a second pump on the surface and a few sprinklers, 100 meters of hose, and you've got year-round food without ever having to go to the grocery store. And you're seeing it right here. This is, this is working, this is not theoretical. I've been eating out of that garden for 30 days, drinking juice three times a day, and I haven't gone to the grocery store for an entire month. So this is really happening. All right, I hope you enjoyed that. That's how you use the Brumby pump to provide irrigation to a, a garden or trees or anything you want to irrigate. Check out their website, brumbypumps.com, and check out my website, naturalnews.com for more videos about sustainable living, green living, lots of cool stuff going on in our world if you're willing to step outside the box and look for some innovative solutions. I hope you enjoyed learning about this solution. This is Mike Adams, the Health Ranger, signing off for naturalnews.com.